Hey guys, Jeremy and Mark here again, and we're talking about Friday, Friday the 13th, and we, we just hit the halfway mark. The new beginning! At least it's not Jason coming back, because... It, that, that thankfully was not shoehorned in. It actually kind of is a who done it. There's two things I'll say. One, it has the best caricature of a hillbilly character <laughs> made by that lady. She's fantastic. Yeah, um, Edith. I can't remember the actress's name, but I think it's Edith. And she just has great lines. No, it's so yeah. overblown. He calls him a dildo. <laughs> yeah, great fucking dildo. <laughs> and then the who was that lady? The, the probably the best naked lady in the movie. Uh, whose last name is Voorhees. The actress's last name is Boris. How cool is that? Oh, that is um, actually. She also lost jobs later in life because she was a teacher and kids found nude scenes of her, which yeah. is fair enough as a good reason for a teacher to lose her job. She's got a pretty cool death scene. It's probably the first death scene we actually get a bit of gore in as well. Oh, yeah. Well, Because this, this movie... Has no um, gore, really, in all honesty. It plays like a TV movie with nudity shoehorned into it. Yeah. Like, every time <laughs> someone's going to get stabbed, there's, like, the cut of him it's bringing like, it down. <laughs> And oh, then yeah. it cuts away. Yeah, like instantly. Face. Before yeah. you get, there's no blood, there's no, no. splatter. Like at one and part, then, someone gets stabbed and nothing happens. Like the blade comes out and there's no blood on it. The yeah, dude gets his throat cut. One of those greaser guys and nothing happens. Nothing's okay. Yeah, he just like falls forward and hits the horn. Right. It's a lower ish budget. It's still more than like the first two movies. But uh, it's less than three and four, and less than everything after it. But this one definitely has the most amount of nudity out of all of them. Yeah, well, like, I, we, talk, we talked a lot scenes. about the gratuitous nudity in the fourth film. This is probably one of the really this even more like thing. literally. There's a scene which apparently was the actress's idea, or at least they want to say that in retrospect with the way the world's gone but she literally is just like it's her in a mirror and she's like showtime and pulls her titties out yeah and you're just like wow oh, man, I like i'm all for guy. nudity in horror films but like and there's actually some there's almost the, this has a similar problem to that of the first and the second one you don't care about anyone Not, there you don't give a there shit is about tommy, movie. tommy yeah, tommy's back well, um but he's, Corey feldman's character uh he, Corey feldman has a brief cameo uh because he was shooting goonies while yeah. he made this one tommy is just this a very mentally unstable kung fu master. Yeah, I guess we should describe what the movie is. <laughs> mentally unstable dude who can kick the shit out of pretty much anyone except, with him, except for Jason, Jason. which sucks um, because that's the whole time that's what you thought the movie was building up to. We got a bit of gore. I just remembered a bit of gore with the beginning of the movie when um, Fat Joey want a candy bar? <laughs> and, uh, and Victor, the crazy dude, just murdered. fucking murders him. Just like, I thought that was a joke. And you were laughing to her. You hear him, like, he's repeatedly yeah, just going to town with this And then town, and then, like, the sudden, paramedic's like, hey, hey man, check this out. Check this out. He's a fucking butchered fat guy. So yeah. I and, was uh, not expecting that. That's the, that. the, the catalyst for the whole film, because it turns out later the other paramedic dude was his dad. Whoa. What? And he turns out to be Jason. So and it's he kind of becomes like, Jason, puts on the Jason and stuff. So it's like Halloween and uh, then he fails of what, according he gets, to resurrection. He gets kicked off the spikes and as he's dying he goes, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Wearing a fucking mask over a mask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's, that's not it's a lot It's the new beginning and there's a reason Jason comes back in the next one. The only... Because people hated this fucking movie. People, I guess, liked it on opening weekend, but I bet it's opening weekend and it's fucking total are very similar because this movie is garbage. The kills are very uncreative. The premise of Jason in it as a whodunit movie just does not work. It, they also don't play it hard enough. Like at one point we were noticing that you don't see Tommy anymore and I'm like oh I guess because they're trying to play up that it might be Tommy. There's also like a piece of graffiti that references in the bathroom and people have decided since that oh. maybe they thought it was the Victor guy who axed fat boy to death had come back and they were trying to play that angle, but none of it like plays. And uh, this is the, this is this director's last film. Apparently, he had an accent or something left with the industry. But uh, he did like like he, before that he was doing like porn and shit. <laughs> so um, so that's why you there's see a lot of gratuitous nudity and one not thing a lot other of, than what you're used to in these movies. Literally every character like no one seems to wear bras in this movie. No, I no mean, ladies are wearing bras. Like there's like oh, a wet t-shirt wait, thing at the wait, end. There's what's her name? Oh yeah, the yeah. dad. That, that was actually really cool. I, I get to meet at Horicon in a couple of weeks. 
um, in Calgary, can't Calgary Horror Con. Can't do this at all. But no, she's she's great. I can't like do there was shit there, for the robot. Yeah, there's a there's a she's certain rocking cuts. it out. Yeah, there's a few cuts that we were kind of like staring at. Like, has that been edited? Like, is she's, that dude, it's it a lot of fun. It might be edited still, but either way, she's good. No. And that's like one of my. I, it's an endearing little scene. She's kind of this aloof chick who's obviously got like several oh. like social disorders and uh, don't she, gets, me. she gets like choked up and then like a close up insert of just like into the middle and it's like it literally looks like he stabbed a pillow with a <laughs> shirt from bootlegger over top yeah exactly uh, this had the highest death count and I think it ties for s third now but second in the main series um but you almost went nine count. It's literally, they went by the rule for the script, and apparently they're writing every seven to eight minutes you need to have a kill or a shock or something. And uh, so they literally just introduce characters, because obviously they were writing stuff, and like, oh crap, we have 14 minutes without a kill here. Someone else and they it. just like introduce a character for no meaning at all, who says, I'll go clean the shitters out of a chicken coop for a meal. And, and he, he never comes back until he dies. He just come we just the next time we see him he's perving out watching the the naked like, lady literally and the boyfriend have 20 sex, minutes later and then he turns and gets stabbed and it's just a fucking waste yeah no this movie is very misdirected it doesn't have a lot to it it's extremely forgettable except for yeah and that's literally when i think of this movie i think of the fat boy offering chocolate and getting axed in the back <laughs> and i think of um <laughs> tiffany helm I don't, I don't know, know that that's name. still funny. Um, dancing. That's, funny. that's the two things I think of most in this movie. And um, that's it. And, and, he gets, and he gets finishered like he's in the pit level in Mortal Kombat. And that's <laughs> It's so bad, dude. There's it's nothing. It. It's not that it's so bad. It's that there's nothing good in it. Three wasn't a good movie, but it had redeeming qualities. It brought the mask in. It had a cool, a badass chick at the end. Yeah. Good brute for four. Also not a great movie, but it had like a good amount of like exploitation with the nudity. It had decent gore. Tommy Jarvis die, die, dying, which we hear like seven times in this fucking movie. Yeah. Um, it had a good ending. It so had wait, redeeming points. Th there's nothing redeemable in this movie. Except for like, except for thirteen-year-old Mark being cool with the fucking nudity. So but wait, <laughs> so is that so is that it? Like literally, if this is a one, then does that mean like every other movie after this is a one? Up I like Jason Goes to Hell. I really do. A lot of people don't, um, especially like Jason fans don't really like Jason Goes to Hell. I like Jason Goes to Hell. It's got the most. It's got like a twenty-three or something stupid death count. Like so many people <laughs> die in that movie, um, so. and it's got some funny bits and. Like, I like Jason Goes to Hell. I don't... I mean, I hate Jason X. I hate Jason X. But it's, like, one of those terrible movies that I can get into because of how terrible it is. Um, but, yeah, five, six... Six, six might be all right. I'm trying... There's, like, another one that's all right somewhere in there that might get a two or a three. But, right. I mean, Jason Takes Manhattan uh, is a fucking negative seven. It's so a one. I'm you're, calling this So he's gonna give it a one. Alright. Fucking So one. I guess we'll go with one then. Yeah. <laughs> he decided we need this. Time. You know what's up. <laughs> Some might be worse than this, but oh, God. it's still pretty bad. Especially after the fact that I like three and four. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Alright guys. So we will see you next time for the next one. Mark's gonna go and meet us uh, a few people. Yeah, I, uh, at HorrorCon, not only is uh, t Tiffany Helm, I'm gonna fuck that up again, uh, but CJ Graham, who plays Jason in the next part, he's there as well, so I'm hopefully gonna get him to sign something. Maybe we might photo. get something. I'm gonna him. see if he'll say something cool, maybe talk about killing this bitch. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so All it'll right. be fun. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Later.